Hello, it's 11th of uh, December 2023 and we are going Christmas to be... Christmas soon! Yes. yes, right, Christmas soon and we are going to be unpacking the 14 inch MacBook Pro. It just has arrived from Shanghai, Platon, please yes. pass me the box. Apple M3 Max. I can't chip. wait to open it. Oh my right. god, so, so big. Let's over here. And Oh my god. Okay, wait, wait, okay. I think you tear it across the middle. I think it opens from this side. Doesn't it do you tear it up the middle? Mm. He just always do the trick, yeah? I think you just tear it across the middle. Oh my god, wow. Look at that. MacBook Pro. Wow. You're being too dramatic. Okay, let's see what's inside. So this is the no, actual no. Apple tuning Apple box. Uh, there is, is uh, thing. yeah, there, there are these thingies which you're supposed to pull and mm -hmm. then so process 64 gig unified memory 2 terabyte SSD 14 Ooh. inch MacBook Pro Apple M3 Max chip mm. That's, uh, sounds like really nice Inside. Even though I don't know a lot of what that means, it sounds really nice. Oh, wow. Okay. There you go. It's the book. It's the mock book. Oh, my God. This is actually so cool. Okay, let's put it over here. Let's see. So this thing is supposed to be non-sticky space, uh, black, whatever, so if you try to put your fingerprints, it kind of disappears. There's no fingerprint! It disappears pretty much immediately. Oh my god, that's so nice! Oh yeah, because like, we used to have on this one, we had the... we... Could have, we we had like loads of fingerprints everywhere, uh, and now this. Oh my god! Look at it. It disappears instantly. You might not see. It. Oh my god! Right. So open it up. So. <gasps> wow! All that noise. So pleasant. Cool. So this is pretty much uh, as far as I remember. Uh, this is the highest, uh, almost kind of highest spec. It's M3 Max chip, a 16 core CPU, 40 core GPU, and 16 core neuron engine. The only thing we didn't go the highest on is the memory. So RAM here is 64 gig, and I think the maximum for this model is 128 gig. Also, obviously. Could, I think you could get go for a larger SSD, two terabyte SSD, uh, is what I have chosen here, and you could go with the high one. But uh, otherwise, in terms of the internal spec, it's kind of the highest. And uh, yeah. So See, previously, for knows. like five years, I had the MacBook Pro, thirteen inch. This this guy. So, 2017, 3.1 3 Intel Core i5, 8 gig RAM. So obviously this is a quite an upgrade, and uh, yeah. the reason we are going for this upgrade is we are doing a lot of AI work hoping to build some LLMs and other stuff, also doing a lot of web and React Native development. And Twitch streaming. And oh. another thing is 
Yeah, we doing uh, like video editing and stuff like that. Yeah, you'll be seeing a lot more of my videos, Team Fortress Two, and other other Fortnite stuff. They're gonna be a lot more quality, as a lot more edited. Yeah. So one thing we can notice it is thicker compared I can to see my yes, very much. MacBook Pro from i with i5 2017 yeah it's we'll a lot see thicker. oh is this thing thicker so oh yeah here you can see that it this is this is thinner than that well this not no a lot of difference not, not but much difference. yeah you can still see it so right. it's asking me regarding the migration and uh, obviously I have the previous MacBook but I'm not going to do the migration right now uh, because I prefer to start it from uh, a clean clean slate sort of to mm. say uh, obviously for Unix and uh, Mac Unix based uh, systems such as Mac OS the old kind of junk and previous file system is not as much as a problem as it would be for Windows systems but still I just prefer to start from scratch so I would pick not now because I have migrated a number of MacBooks before and I just want to start from a new a fresh here oh, while this is, is installing let's have a look at the uh, what's what we have inside the MacBook itself? Obviously, is black. The keyboard is black. Its soul space black. The bottom is black. Oh wow! We oh, get we, we get the matching cable, which is also so oh, got black. The Apple stickers yeah. and the stickers stickers are Promotion black. For Apple. Black stickers, cool. Yeah. This thing though is not black, which is not very convenient. We don't mind. Yeah, bye. Whatever. Whatever. So that's it. Press and hold the microphone key. Okay, try that. Okay. Siri. Oh. Do you want to enable dictation? No. Okay, probably it's not. Not for now. Or well, I think maybe this key. Siri, what's the weather like? Hey Siri, send a message. I think it's not listening. Oh no! It's becoming it's becoming sane. Oh no! We've created the matrix. Siri, set the timer. Siri, set the timer for three minutes. So oh, the touch ID is a nice touch. Yeah. Let's try it. The only thing, however, this latest MacBook Pro doesn't have the touch bar, which I will kind of miss because this was pretty oh, yeah. nice on the previous one. Yeah, that's nice. But we have these here. They'll probably help. You want it darker? Join the dark side. We have MacBooks. Yes. And cookies. Yeah, and cookies. We love cookies. Cookies are nice. Okay, continue. Wow! Oh, bro! Oh, it actually seen, looks like a scene out of Minecraft, but 3D! Oh my god! So one of the first things I want to do is to run the Geekbench 6 test to compare the specs for the new one and my old MacBook Pro 2017 uh, 
using the Intel i5 chipset. So if we get the about, you could see this is the 3.1 gig hertz Intel Core i5, 8 gigabyte RAM, 13 inch, in, and this one is 14 inch MacBook Pro Apple M3 Max. It's 4.05 gigahertz and 64 gig of RAM. So let's run the CPU benchmark. So our results are just in the single core score is 3223 and the multi core score is 21597. Yeah, my camera just dropped. This is compared to uh, my i7 MacBook Pro, sorry, i5, i5 MacBook Pro 1051. For the single core and 2342 for the multi core. Huge, huge difference on the multi cores, 10 times pretty much, and uh, like 3.2, 3.1 difference for the single core performance. Let's check some of the other params. GPU Progressing really fast, this one. There you go, 91,844 for the OpenCL score. I will launch the metal one. So while the metal one is running on on uh, our max one, let's try GPU benchmark on the old MacBook. This one is ready. One hundred fifty-three thousand four hundred thirty-seven is the metal score. So the GPU OpenCL score for my old MacBook is just in. And uh, let's get the metal one just in case. Yeah, 
now while this is running I'm going to install Chrome on my new one and we'll get some apps installed as well so setup is something I want to try I haven't uh, had the subscription before but it's a uh, Ukrainian company I want to support them and I know it will be useful for for my new Mac because they have a bunch of software included within this ten dollars per month package which seems, seems affordable as long as you use multiple apps included in here and they have a lot of them Alright, right. Metal score for GPU MacBook Pro 2017 is 8,281. To summarize, the single core score for MacBook Pro 2017 is 1051 and multi core score is 2342. Our score for 14 inch MacBook Pro M3 Max is 3223 single core and 21,000. 597 for multi-core the so there was just a variation there uh, GPU results for the 2017 MacBook Pro is 6677 for OpenCL and 8,281 for metal score. For the new one, the GPU open shell score is 91,844 and metal score is 133,437. Regarding the keyboard on the new MacBook, um, I don't have any feedback so far. Uh, it seems functional and uh, pretty pleasant to touch and work with. I didn't have any serious problems with the keyboard per se in the old one. Well, actually I had the, the, the main problem which was this, the, the known issue with the with some of the keys which uh, were st stopped working eventually and uh, I just I couldn't bother to get and get it replaced uh, at the Apple store so I just ended up using the external keyboard most of the time otherwise like specific letters like N for example had a problem another thing is 
this got pretty hot now as a result of the Geekbench testing and the new one is, is all cool and chill. Uh, still, yeah, I would definitely miss the touch bar thing. It is a really cool feature. Other than that, really happy with the upgrade. We'll definitely put it to use. And uh, thank you for watching.